$2,000 Social Security checks for seniors, SSIS DVA, not approved yet, but may approve soon, Social Security changes with a Harris presidency. As the backbone of retirement income for millions of Americans, the Social Security system has long been a topic of intense political debate and discussion. With concerns about the program's long-term solvency, policymakers have been exploring various reforms and adjustments to ensure its viability for generations to come. Recently, a number of significant proposals have emerged that aim to address the challenges facing Social Security. These proposals seek to shore up the program's finances, enhance benefits for certain groups, and provide much-needed relief to retirees struggling with the impacts of high inflation. Let's take a closer look at these key proposals and analyze their potential implications. Expanding the Social Security tax base. One of the most prominent proposals on the table is to subject higher income individuals to Social Security payroll taxes on their earnings above $400,000 per year. Currently, earnings above the taxable maximum of $147,000 in 2023 are not subject to the Social Security payroll tax. By extending the tax base to include income over $400,000, this measure would effectively require the wealthiest Americans to contribute more to the Social Security system. Proponents argue that this would help shore up the program's long-term solvency without placing an additional burden on the vast majority of workers who earn less than $400,000 annually. Expanding the Social Security tax base to include income over $400,000 per year is a targeted approach that could significantly improve the program's financial outlook, explains Dr. Emily Goff, a senior policy analyst specializing in retirement security. By tapping into the higher income segment of the population, this proposal would broaden the funding sources for Social Security without impacting middle-class and lower-income Americans. Adjusting the Cost of Living Adjustment, COLA Another key proposal involves modifying the way the annual cost of living adjustment, COLA, is calculated for Social Security benefits. Currently, the COLA is based on the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW, which tracks the spending patterns of younger working-age individuals. The proposed change would shift the COLA calculation to the Consumer Price Index for the Elderly, CPIE, which is designed to better reflect the specific spending patterns and inflation experiences of retirees and older Americans living on fixed incomes. The CPIW, while a useful metric for the general population, does not fully capture the unique spending challenges faced by seniors, explains Dr. Goff. Shifting to the CPIE would ensure that Social Security benefits keep pace with the actual cost of living for retirees, who tend to spend a larger share of their budgets on health care, housing, and other expenses that may rise at a faster rate than the overall inflation rate. By aligning the COLA more closely with the expenses of the elderly, this proposal could result in slightly higher annual benefit increases over time, providing much-needed support for those living on fixed incomes. Boosting Benefits for Older Retirees In addition to adjusting the COLA, another proposal aims to address the specific financial challenges faced by older retirees. This involves increasing the primary insurance amount, PIA, which represents the monthly benefit amount that an individual receives at their full retirement age. Under this proposal, the PIA would be raised for individuals aged 78 to 82, recognizing that expenses often increase as people age and face rising health care costs and other age-related expenses. As retirees grow older, their financial needs tend to change and often increase, explains Dr. Goff. This proposal to boost the PIA for those in the 78 to 82 age range would provide a much-needed boost in benefits to help offset the growing costs associated with aging. By targeting this benefit increase to older retirees, the proposal seeks to ensure that Social Security continues to adequately support individuals throughout their later years when financial stability becomes even more critical. Enhancing the Special Minimum Benefit Another key element of the reform proposals involves enhancing the Social Security program's special minimum benefit. The special minimum benefit is designed to provide a basic monthly payment to individuals who have limited Social Security contribution histories, often due to low-wage jobs or periods of unemployment. The current special minimum benefit level is set at just 100% of the federal poverty line, 
which many experts consider to be insufficient to keep older, low-income workers out of poverty. The proposed reform would increase the special minimum benefit to 125% of the federal poverty line, providing a significant boost in financial support for the most vulnerable retirees. Raising the special minimum benefit to 125% of the federal poverty line would make a meaningful difference in the lives of low-income workers who have spent their careers in jobs that don't provide robust retirement savings, explains Dr. Goff. This change would help ensure a stronger safety net for those who have the least ability to save for their golden years. By enhancing the special minimum benefit, this proposal aims to address the issue of poverty among retirees and provide a more adequate level of support for those who have had limited opportunities to build up substantial Social Security earnings records. Potential $2,000 Payments for Seniors and Beneficiaries In addition to the structural reforms outlined above, there have also been discussions and proposals in Congress to provide direct financial assistance to Social Security recipients, as well as those receiving Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs VA benefits. The idea of providing $2,000 payments to these beneficiaries has gained traction as a way to help offset the impacts of high inflation and rising costs of living, particularly for those living on fixed incomes. While this proposal has not yet been officially approved or implemented, it remains a potential future policy change that is still under consideration by lawmakers. If enacted, $2,000 payments to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries could provide significant relief to millions of Americans who rely on these government benefits as their primary source of income, says Dr. Goff. With the rising costs of essentials like food, housing, and health care, this direct financial assistance could make a real difference in the lives of retirees and other vulnerable populations. The Potential Impact of Comprehensive Social Security Reform Taken together, these proposals represent a comprehensive effort to strengthen the social security system and improve the financial security of retirees and other vulnerable populations by expanding the tax base, adjusting the COLA, boosting benefits for older retirees, enhancing the special minimum benefit, and potentially providing direct financial assistance, policymakers are aiming to address the multifaceted challenges facing the program. If these reforms were to be implemented, they could have a significant and wide-ranging impact on the Social Security system and the millions of Americans who depend on it, explains Dr. Goff. From improving the program's long-term solvency to providing more adequate support for the most vulnerable retirees, these proposals represent a holistic approach to securing the future of Social Security. Of course, the implementation and the specific details of these proposals would be subject to ongoing political negotiations and the legislative process. Nonetheless, the emergence of these reform ideas highlights the continued importance of addressing the challenges facing Social Security and ensuring its viability for generations to come.